I am a water scientist. I came to the sea looking for fresh water. Years ago, I was planting floating horticultural crops. I was distilling salt water. And that proved to be a, a very nice line of work. Yet it was nothing compared with all the water, all the production possibilities that I eventually came to realize is right there waiting for us at sea. So without abandoning some production possibilities like floating horticultural crops, we have gone into promoting and developing new production alternatives directly at sea. There is the possibility of producing seaweeds, fish, shrimp, oysters, and, and many other products directly at sea without needing a single drop of fresh water. So it took me a while to change my, my frame of mind being an agricultural water scientist that wanted to bring fresh water to land or produce land crops at sea. Those are possibilities, but the biggest one available to all of, all of us is to produce at sea what the sea can offer. And even improve on that, as we're doing with purslane, for example, growing a halophyte plant, a plant, a salt-loving or tolerant plant, directly at sea. So the possibilities are many, and we are barely beginning to exploit them. The area available to produce at sea is enormous. The amount of water available to produce at sea is enormous. So we shouldn't be at all worried that we're going to run out of food, we're going to run out of water. Of course, if we keep on producing only on land, that may happen. It is happening already. But the sea represents the next agricultural landscape. We have to change our frame of, frame of mind.